Hello, this is Coach Lydia Knight, and we are ending eating disorders and freeing women from every cage. And freedom is trusting your choices. So, so often when we've done just decades of things that have made the problem worse or haven't worked, then the really awful side effect of that is we stop trusting ourselves. We stop trusting ourselves to make choices for our own life because we see this pattern of, well, every choice that I've made to try to fix this problem, it's, it's gotten worse, or you know I've lost it and gained it all back, or we, because of bad solutions, and I just wanna speak into reality there, like we're making the best choices that we can, but there are just a lot of bad solutions, solutions, I'll even put that in quotes, that are part of the problem, that make the problem worse. But the effect on us is we are eroding our own trust in ourself and our own ability to make choices. This is why a lot of the time if we've been struggling with food, you know, over, over months, over years, is with that eroded trust of ourselves, we start defaulting to others. We start polling the people around us. What should I do? What should I think? Who should I be? And we don't see it, say it in those particular words, but that's really the feeling behind us losing trust in ourselves and defaulting to others, which is a really dangerous thing for our lives because we're in charge of creating those lives. And we honestly do a really good job in a lot of areas. And it's this thing with food because there are so many things out there that make the problem worse that really creates this dynamic where we're trusting ourselves less and less. So freedom is trusting ourselves to make choices. And what's beautiful is for every single woman that we have coached, that we have helped, that is now free, that gets to live the rest of her life in absolute permanent freedom and peace with food, she made a decision, a choice for herself, and it was hers. She made the decision to step forward into her power, even though that trust had been eroded, even though she had insecurity about it, she was more committed to her freedom than her fear. I'll say it again. She was more committed to her freedom than her fear. And what that started was this beautiful ripple effect of, you know what, I am finally gonna fix this. I'm gonna do something real. I'm not gonna do some cheap, free, like do this one thing to take this pill or this one crazy trick to melt the belly fat. Like I'm gonna do something that's real. And we get to partner with them and actually fix this for real once and for all. And not only is that freedom a beautiful thing, but it's the trust that it restores in our lives. And when we get to have that trust of like, oh, I made a really good decision that fixed a lifelong problem, then we have this renewed excitement and trust of like, oh, I can trust myself to make all of these choices because I make good decisions. And we could just squarely see that all of our failures in the past were not because we were making a bad choice, but because we were being lied to about what it was. We were drinking poison that was labeled as medicine. And when we stop doing that, when we actually do the real thing that fixes it all the way, then you get to have that trust restored. And making choices is what creates our life. And when we can trust ourselves to do that, our whole life just gets better and better and better. So for your next step to freedom and to trust yourself in that freedom, go to lifewithlydia.com.